everybody I've got a cactus unwrapping today and there's two cactus plants in here and I'm going to leave it as a surprise as to what they are okay so let's get unwrapping just want to mention before I go ahead and open these I will be actually potting these up in the video today I've already prepared the pots the plant labels the top dressing and the potting mixture so at the end of the video we will be potting these up I'll give you some clues these are night flowering cactus and they have quite large flowers and they have an exotic smell I have no idea what these are going to look like because they are quite small I'll just have a peek so let's have a look and here it is up close can you guess what it is Yes, it is a Seti Echinopsis Mirabilis. And I've got two of them. And look at this. One of them has got a nice little flower bud on there. How beautiful is that? These can grow up to about 15 centimetres tall with a diameter of the stem about 2.5 centimetres nice spines and these flower stems here get really long and have a massive flower they look a bit like those flowers you get on those cactus plants that flower during the night which you often call queen of the night cactus I'll put a picture up of the flower so let's open the next one now And this one is even taller. So this is probably about five to six centimetres tall. And this one's got two flower buds on it. Wow. Here they are side by side. I wasn't expecting them to have any flower buds on at all because the pictures just didn't show any flower buds on them. It looks like a little rabbit face. So let's get potting. The pot I'm using here is a six centimetre pot with sufficient drainage holes. So I've just covered the roots and now I'm going to add the top dressing to secure the plant in position. The top dressing I'm using today is my Kyodama.
And let's put the plant label in now. So here it is, Seti Echinopsis Mirabilis from Bulgaria. And I'm going to give it a light watering because the roots have been in transit for quite a while and they would have been fully healed by now. It's very thirsty. And the water that I've just sprayed onto it contains cinnamon essential oil as well. Just in case there's any bugs or anything on there. And um, you'll notice that I didn't get the bud wet. And let's pop the next one now. I've already popped in the soil mix. 